in Ohio, and my dad always had Florida and California circles. That's where he's going up. So he and my mom got transferred to Clearwater, Florida. And my senior year in college, um, my pinto froze in the state for three months. So I came to Florida after them. So we were, my mom and I didn't know anybody, and she saw something in the paper that said, my lasses. And I'm like, you know, that could be somebody to meet. So, okay, so we went to the Wim Last luncheon. No, not the luncheon, the, the breakfast. The coffee, yeah, the breakfast, I guess it was. And um, the first thing uh, was Sid McLeod. She was a treasurer. She said, you know, you have to be 21 to be a Wim Last. And I said, well, I never saw any of that discrimination, but um, I'm 23. <laughs> and she's like, oh. <laughs> and so, of course, I had a bad taste, but the Wim was right away. So we came in and we sat down, and there was somebody my age, kind of my age, that kind of befriended me, Valerie Greathouse. Uh, she was my friend. So we kind of joined, all joined together, and um, I did the test, the sailing test, and I really didn't know anything about sailing. I got a fan, we had to sail around the park, and I got it. I mean, I, you know, with Windward, <laughs> I got it. My mom, on the other hand, she was like, <laughs> anyway, she took my mom tried to take lessons because um, at that time, if you couldn't get around that mark, you had to take sailing yeah. lessons from Hilda Crawford. <laughs> so she took the lessons, and um, we embraced it, and we made friends, and I um, tolerated the transfer here. I got a sunfish, and I sailed until about ten years ago, and my skin cancer kind of came. Yeah, but Lisa, you were the only one that could wear a bikini. Yeah, you look so good. I was like, <laughs> 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 I'm 